Hey, so today I want to talk with you guys about this. Well, not, okay, well, not the box, but what's inside the box. So this is my well, IPA washing container. Basically, uh, whenever I 3D print something over on my um, resin printer, you know, you guys know this, you have to put it into an IPA bath in order to rinse off all the remaining resin, the unhardened resin. Now, if you leave this out in the sun or UV light comes into contact with it, um, this resin that is solved into this IPA tends to become this weird microplastic dough, you might always also want to call it, which is, well, really the essence of microplastic, right? So what happens is you basically rinse off the remaining resin from your 3D prints. It kind of solves in the liquid. The sunlight hits this liquid and it tends to cure that resin and becomes very tiny um, plastic particles. So, of course, you want to keep on using this liquid. You don't want to have to get a new container with IPA all the time just because it looks like this. I mean, this is the result of rinsing off two, three prints, maybe. So, what a lot of people out there are doing is they are actually using this. Well, it's in German, but it's coffee filters. Um, in order to, to filter out this hardened, uh, the, this hardened resin. The problem with that is that, well, you waste a lot of those filters, right? Just to, to clear out this container once, you probably have to use, say, around about five, six, seven of those filters. Um, because, well, those are microplastics, right? They get stuck inside the filter and at some point the resin just won't flow through anymore. So in this video, I want to show you guys how um, you can actually recycle the resin without producing any kind of waste, well, except for the filtered out stuff, um, using that one, I promise, this, a cheesecloth. So before we actually take a look at how the recycling using the cheesecloth works, let's do a quick experiment just to showcase the issue um, that you'll be facing by using a coffee filter. So here I have a mix of IPA with uh, regular resin from the Elgu brand, um, which I just put into my curing station, exposing it to UV light, which will cause the resin inside the solution to cure and harden. This only takes a couple of seconds. Now this here is edited for time, but it was like 30 seconds in reality to get that result. And as you can see, um, now the formerly clear-ish red solution becomes kind of milky. And that is the cured resin inside that solution. Now by pouring that through the coffee filter, you can see that at the beginning it drips quite rapidly because the filter is still you know free from plastic particles but it doesn't take long for it to slow down a lot and you know just turning into the little driplets coming out but there's still quite a bit of uh, ipa left in the filter okay so as always when you're working with resin you're gonna want to wear some latex gloves So, cheesecloth. Any kind of cheesecloth will actually do. Um, just make sure that you don't that you don't have just one. You actually want it to be layered, right? Um, so this here is actually five uh, pieces of cheesecloth stacked on top of each other. Uh, let me just move this here a little bit so you can see it better. Um, and here, as you can see, those are one, two, any other two, three. Well, it's actually four, four uh, cheesecloths stacked on top of each other. So you can 3D print yourself a funnel that works better. Uh, you can grab this one over on Thingiverse. I think the original design is actually by some by another YouTuber. I'll see if I can find the video and if I find it, I'll link it in the description down below. This funnel basically enables uh, the filtering to happen not just on the bottom, but actually on the on the sides as well. So. What you need to do is actually pretty straightforward. You just insert the cloth into this funnel, right? And then you open up the container with your hardened resin. And you're gonna to want to very carefully pour it in. Now, um, tr 
try to get the hardened resin as in, in there as late as possible because this is what will actually clog it up. Um, so you're going to want to, you know, make sure that it comes in late. Now once all of that is in there, just get that disgusting goo in there. Right here, as you can see, it's really just plastics Blah, that hardened. Blah, gross. And down here on the bottom, you can already see that quite clear resin uh, IPA is coming through there because it's been filtered by the cheesecloth. So after, you know, at some point you will notice that it starts dripping quite a bit slower. So what you're going to want to do is you can take uh, the container here and carefully take out the cheesecloth with all of the goo on top. And then what you're going to do is you actually squeeze it out and say, clear IPA coming right out of it. It's funny, whenever I say IPA, I actually tend to think of the beer, the Indian pale ale, not as much of this cleaning alcohol. <laughs> anyway, so after a while, you will notice that it gets pretty hard to get more uh, to come out of it. You know, you have to increase the pressure a lot. Now that doesn't mean that you've got all the IPA out. It basically just means um, that the uh, parts of it uh, are out. And let me just show you. And um, there's basically still a core. Look at all those gooey plastics. But the, while, while this here is very dry by now, right, it's actually very hard. There is still this core here that is still very mushy. So what you basically need to do is turn it around a little bit so the, the, the wet stuff gets on the outside and then you can go ahead and do it once more. That's about it. So on the inside of the cheesecloth, and that is, that is actually what, the one thing that I like so much about using a cheesecloth for this, um, you now have this dry microplastic here that you can just you know throw into the trash um, and prevent it from like getting out into uh, the ecosystem by being flushed out or something like that. Um, and afterwards you can actually just, once you've thrown this away, you can just use this cheesecloth again. Um, this cloth in particular, I think I've been using it to uh, filter my IPA now for, I don't know, 30 times or something, and it still works just as great. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. I'll be very much appreciative of it. Uh, leave a comment down below and uh, until next time.